So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys another outfit from the outfit transfer glitch. So remember that with the outfit transfer glitch, you do lose all your outfits except for only one. So before you start the glitch, go ahead and equip the outfit that you don't want to lose. Also, go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece. It doesn't matter which earpiece. I just go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece. And once you're ready to do the glitch, just go over here to the clothing store. Go ahead and put your spawn location on last location. Get your pass button, go to online, and go to swap character. So this outfit is going to be mainly for white joggers, but if you don't have white joggers, you can do them with any other color joggers that you have. And if you have no joggers at all, I'm going to show you guys a component for the black joggers so you don't have to um, do the job to get the outfit. So remember that you are going to be losing all your outfits, like I said, because I know people are going to keep asking. So you're going to be losing all your outfits, so before you do the glitch, just put on the one outfit that you want to keep. And also, yeah, make sure you buy the root breather or the earpiece for when you merge outfits. So when you get in here, all you want to do is just go over to your second character. And it's either going to say edit or delete. If it says delete on your second character, just go ahead and delete your second character. And then two new characters are going to come in. And then you're going to see the edit option for your second character. So if you don't see the edit option on your second character, just go ahead and delete your second character. And then when two new characters come in, you're going to see the edit option on your second character. But once you see the edit option on your second character, just go ahead and select that. And when you're going, you're going to get this alert right here. You just want to go ahead and accept it. After you accept it and your second character comes in here, you just want to go ahead and turn it into a female. So if it's a male, just go ahead and change it into a female. If it's already a female, just go ahead and leave it as a female. Go ahead and save it, continue, make a random name for it, and then go ahead and take the picture. After you take the picture and the game is loading, it may or may not play a casino DLC trailer. For me, it doesn't play it, but for some of you guys, it might play it. So whether it plays it or not, it's not going to affect the glitch. You're just waiting to get spawned inside of your new session. So when you get spawned inside a new session, all you want to do is just go ahead and open up your map and check to see if there are any clothing stores in your session. If you don't see any clothing stores like me, just go ahead and go to online and go to find session. And then the clothing stores are going to be inside of your new session. But if you do see the clothing stores, just go ahead and make your way over to any of the clothing stores. It doesn't matter. So if you don't see any clothing stores, like I said, just switch sessions or find a new session. And then the clothing stores are going to be inside of that new session. So my female character is going to look a little bit different because I have to start the glitch all over again because when I was trying to find a new session, I got this error message right here. And when you, usually when you get this error message, you're going to have to start the glitch all over again. So just delete your second character, get out the game, and then get back on, and then just start the glitch all over again. So I got that error message, and most of the time when you get that, you're going to have to start over. So that's why I'm just telling you guys that my female character is going to look different because I have to start over. So when you get spawned inside of your new session, just go ahead and open up your map, and as you can see, there are clothing stores inside of my session. So I'm just going to go ahead and make my way over to the nearest clothing store. So when you get inside the clothing store, first you just want to go ahead and make your way into the top section. Go to leather jackets and purchase the blue JC logo jacket. So just come over to the top section, go to leather jackets and purchase the blue JC logo jacket. So this one right here is the blue JC logo jacket. Once you have that, you just want to go ahead and back out. You understand the top section. Go to the sport tops and buy the white mix baseball tee. I went to the wrong one by accident because I wasn't paying attention. But you just want to go into sport tops and buy the white mix baseball tee. Did somebody say something? So this one right here, just go ahead and buy that. After you've got that, just go ahead and make your way over to the pants section. Go to the sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants, which should be the first ones. So just come over to the pants section, go to sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants. Once you have that, just go ahead and make your way over to the shoes. Go to the high heels and purchase the charcoal platforms. 
I'm just going to raise the shoes, go to the high heels, and purchase the charcoal platforms. So these right here, after you have that, just go ahead and back out. And for me, you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the accessories. And first, you want to go to the earrings, because some female characters do spawn in by default with earrings. So you're just going to go to the earrings, and if your female character has earrings on, just go ahead and take them off. Once you take off your earrings, just go ahead and back out, go to the gloves, and buy the black woolen gloves, which are going to be towards the bottom. So you just go to the gloves and purchase the black woolen gloves. So these right here, just go ahead and buy them. After you have that, just go ahead and come and save the outfit. When you save it, make sure you save it in an empty slot that's on your main character. So if the outfit that you didn't want to lose in was in slot 20, you want to just save this inside of a different slot. So just go ahead and make sure you save it in an empty slot that's on your main character. So once you've saved the outfit, just go ahead and back out. You want to go back to the top section again, go to sport tops, and purchase the gray racer pack. So come back here to the um, top section, go back to the sport tops, and purchase the gray racer pack. So once you have this right here, just go ahead and back out. You want to stay in the top section, go to the utility vest and purchase the stealth utility vest, which should be the um, last one. So just come over to the utility vest, go to the bottom, and you should see the stealth utility vest, and you just want to go ahead and buy that. that right there just go ahead and purchase that after you have that you're just going to go ahead and back out make your way over to the um accessories go to the gloves and purchase the lightwood land tactical gloves which should be number four i'm pretty sure so just come over here to the um, accessories go to the gloves and purchase the lightwood land tactical gloves yep so these right here number four just go ahead and buy them once you have that, just gonna come save the outfit. And when you save it, make sure you save it underneath of the first outfit that you made. So this is gonna be the second outfit. So just come save it right underneath of the first outfit that you made. All right, so once you save it, just gonna make your way over to the top section again. Go to sport jackets and purchase the sea green puffer jacket, which should be number 99, I'm pretty sure. So just um, come over to the top section. Go to sport jackets and purchase the sea green puffer jacket. So this one right here, just go ahead and buy that. After you have that, you just want to go ahead and back out. You want to stay in the top section, go to the bustiers and purchase a teal lace bustier so just come over here to the um, bustiers and purchase the teal lace bustier so i think i just went past it oh actually this one right here so just go ahead and buy this one right here teal lace bustier once you have that just go ahead and make your way over to the hats go to canvas hats and buy the gray plate canvas hat this is going to be for the checkerboard hat if you want it on your outfit so if you don't want a checkerboard hat on your outfit then don't buy this but if you want a checkerboard hat just come purchase the gray plate canvas hat and if you want checkerboard glasses on your outfit go to the glasses go to casual glasses and purchase the copper marble glasses so this is going to be for checkerboard goggles or checkerboard glasses but if you don't want any glasses on your outfit then you don't have to put this on so once you have the copper marble glasses it's going to come save the outfit and when you save it, just go ahead and save it underneath of the second outfit. So in total, you should have three outfits. So just come save it underneath of the second outfit. And like I said, in total, you should have three different outfits. When you're done saving it, just go ahead and hit B. Go to standard outfits and purchase the Chica outfit. When you have the Chica outfit, just go ahead and back out. Hit your pause button, go to online, and go inside of creator.
when you get inside of creator go ahead and click on create a race and then click on land race when you get loaded in click on race details go ahead and fill out the title and the description you don't have to be anything specific just go ahead and put in random stuff in it and then go ahead and take the photo and then put the maximum players on two and then put the route type on point to point when you got that hit your pause button and warp over to the airport when you get to the airport hit b go to placement click on place triggers go ahead and place on the trigger and then back out of that then click on the lobby camera go ahead and take the picture and then back out of that and then click on the checkpoints now when you're making the race it has to be only 0.62 miles or longer so just go ahead and make the race 0.62 miles or longer and after you've made it 0.62 miles or longer just hit b twice and you're going to see the option to test out your race and you just want to go ahead and test it out So when you finish the race, you're going to get a completed alert. You're just going to go ahead and accept it. When you load in, hit your pause button, go to online, and go to choose character. So when you get in here this time, you just want to go over to your second character that has a Chica outfit on and you want to delete her. So make sure you're on your second character. You don't want to delete your main character by accident. Make sure you go over to your second character that has a Chica outfit on and hit delete on her. Once you delete her, two new characters are going to come in from here. All you want to do is just hit B so it takes you into single player. So when these two new characters come in, just hit B so the game takes you into single player. When you load into single player, all you want to do is just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, go to play GT online, and just go inside of an invite only session. So basically, just go inside of an invite only session when you get loaded into single player. So when you load it online, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and come save the outfit that you didn't want to lose because it's not going to be safe. So just go ahead and come save the outfit that you didn't want to lose. And when you save it, make sure you save it towards the bottom so it doesn't interfere when you're trying to merge your outfits. Alright, so after you save the outfit that you didn't want to lose, just go ahead and put on any joggers that you want to put the outfit on. And if you didn't have any joggers, if you go to the pants section and go to utility pants, the black heist pants should give you the black joggers. I haven't tested it for this outfit yet, but the component for the black joggers are these right here, the black heist pants. So just go ahead and put them on for the black joggers if you don't have any joggers. Or just go ahead and put on any joggers that you want to put the outfit on. Once you got the joggers on, just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, rockstar, create, go to versus, and start up crooked cops. When you start up crooked cops, make sure you put the clothing on player own and invite either a friend or a random. So if you don't put the clothing on player own, the glitch will not work. Make sure you put the clothing on player own and invite either one friend or one random to join. And when you get loaded inside of the settings right here, go down to the owned outfits and hit right on the D-pad three times. So just go down to the owned outfits and hit right on the D-pad three times and you're gonna have this exact same outfit with whichever joggers that you decided to use with um, checkerboard sneakers. So when you get loaded inside of the job or the mission, all you want to do is just go ahead and open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, go to your accessories, and put on either a rebreather or an earpiece. I almost forgot to do it and I quit the job, but you just want to go ahead and put on either a rebreather or an earpiece. After you put that on, just go ahead and open up your phone and quit the job from your phone. Alright, so from here, when you load it online, you're still going to have the outfit on. 
and all you want to do right now is just go to animation and come save the outfit so once you save the outfit it's yours and you get to keep it if you want to put the checkerboard vest and the shoes and the hat and the glasses on other outfits then i guess you can keep the components but if you don't want to put them on anything else you can go ahead and delete the components and just save your outfit so that's going to be it for this video if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to drop a like on it share subscribe and don't forget to turn your post notifications so you don't miss out on any other videos